I'm gonna pour over this canvas. Um, I didn't dislike it, but it just isn't one of my favorites. And um, I poured a smaller one with similar colors that I like better. So I decided to pour over it. This one is a 20 by 20 canvas. And um, it is, we're gonna use similar colors to one I just did, but I'm gonna pour them in a little bit different way and I'm gonna do a different type of pour. So, um, that's kind of what I want to do. I'm gonna, I've been doing some where I um, start with some colors that I then end with and then put the other ones in the middle. So I'm gonna do that with this. I'm gonna put a little bit of blue and a little bit of white. And I'm gonna do the other blues, turquoise. And this is my light blue. And these are mixes. Um, They'll be described better in the video that I I did a big 24 by 24 in, so um, I'll try and put a link to that one so you guys can see it. Um, okay, so now that I've kind of got, I'm trying to decide the order here. Um, I think I'll do different blues last. Okay, I'm gonna, um, now I'm gonna go this way, I think. A little bit of white. Gold, yellow, I think I put way too much yellow. Purple. Um, I don't think I want this. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I want that next to the green. do a little more gold, white, and I'm going to try and use up the gold here. Okay. Might have to do more, I don't know. to do thick, thick layers of everything, but now that I'm kind of messing with it, this one's really thick. I think I have some lumps in it. And all these colors are mixed with between two and three parts Floetrol. I just kind of work, I start with two parts and then I add a little more until I get the consistency I want. They are pretty thick. I usually do pretty thick for cup pours. Just a dab more yellow. Okay. It's a little less paint than I normally, normally use for 20 by 20, so now I'm a little worried about that. But, okay. I think we've used up almost everything except the um, yellow and the, and the violet. So, I'm not sure if I'll save the cups or not. I might, so I'll put them over here. Okay, I'm gonna, oops, 
do have just a touch of gold. Okay. This is going to be I'm going to do a um, traveling jiggle pour on this one. So, kind of. Okay, here we go. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a second, maybe torch it. The, um, the green right in here is forming some really cool cells. I'm gonna put some more white around. So I really enjoy doing these um, traveling jiggle pours. I don't know, they're like, they, they're so fun. Like, I don't know how to describe it, but you just, one end is a little different than the other and yeah, kind of fun. Okay. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch this way and this way, just, just to kind of stretch the middle out. Hmm. Kind of feel like my paints are a little too thin. Um, big old hair right there. I definitely don't have as much paint as I usually do as far as the colors. I've got a lot of white, so hopefully that's... Bring it around.
which button? Okay, one more corner. Uh, dang it. Awesome. I think I got pretty good coverage all the way around too. So that's really cool. Nice. Okay. What do you guys think? You kind of, when you do the traveling jiggle pours, you end up with different areas that kind of look a little different. Like they're not consistently, it's, you know, you're, it's really cool actually. So let me bring you guys down to take a look. Okay guys, here's the close-up. Love the turquoise and the green together. Really, really cool. So, there you go. If you like this one, please love it if you'd hit the um, thumbs up. And uh, if you're not already a subscriber, um, it would be great if you subscribe um, and hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye.